Hey guys, Pankaj here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to talk about another data set and that data set is basically uh, chat data which has been collected in one of the company. And this chat data is basically a chat or talk between uh, customer and the customer uh, service representative. Okay, so we will be seeing like uh, whenever a customer is uh, initiating one chat, right? Uh, from one of the customer service representative and how long they have been chatting, whether their uh, chat query or the uh, problem troubleshooting has been done or not, and who closed the uh, chat, whether it is by customer or the customer service representative, whether it was interactive chat or non-interactive chat, and they were talking over like, uh, they, they, they were connected basically uh, over the phone, over the Mac OS, Windows OS, Ubuntu, or various kind of OS, right? So a lot of features will be there in the chat data, and that's what we're going to analyze today. Okay, so there are a couple of features which you may have to do some cleaning on that. And uh, after the cleaning, you can uh, get more insight about the data. Okay, so let's get started with this. So I'm going to share my desktop. Okay. So this is the notebook. And in this notebook, as usual, I have mentioned all about this like EDA. Those who are watching this video first time, I would suggest please go back to some previous uh, EDA part, which has been done on automotive data, uh, Twitter handle uh, data, as well as Titanic data set, right? So in every day, set, you will find these uh, details where I'm talking about what is EDA, what are the fundamental steps in EDA, and how to perform data cleaning, how to perform EDA, okay? So here also I mentioned, so let's go ahead and import uh, required libraries. So as usual, I'll import NumPy as NP, Pandas as PD, Matplot, Pyplot as PLT, C1 as SNS. So let's go ahead and import. Okay, now we'll go ahead and uh, re read the data set. So I'm going to create a data frame that is DF, PD dot read CSV. And here we have 05 customer chat data. Just a minute. Where is the data? Let me just check. So it is there under zero five chat data. Okay. So dot zero five chat data. Then we have CSV. Okay, so this data basically uh, it was I got from one of my friend and you will not be finding it in any of the uh, you know third party or uh, freely freely available website like Kaggle or maybe from Google you will not be able to find it. Okay, so I'm going to upload in the uh, Google Drive as well as uh, GitHub my GitHub so that you can download from there. Okay, so we'll go ahead with the default option and let's load it and see df dot head let's say two top two rows i'm going to see and bottom two rows also i'm going to see here okay so let's see what and all uh, features are there so we have transaction start date agent so this basically exactly in which day particular which particular day transaction has been started or basically a talk between a customer and customer service representative okay and agent like who was talking chat duration, so how long the chat has been, you know, uh, available between uh, customer and the customer service representative. Okay, or from now on, I'll be using short form that is CS, okay, customer support team. And teams are nothing but like from which team they belong to, or basically uh, from which particular team uh, that particular chat has been initiated. Session name, order value, chat closed by, so who has closed the chat? Okay, and this is nothing but like if you would have also interacted with the customer support representative, right? Mostly once chat is over, you will be hanging up the phone or you'll be ending up the ending the uh, chat, not the customer support team. Okay, so we'll also see, we'll be plotting the data and you'll understand like who is closing the data or chat, whether it was interactive or not, and which browser they were using for chatting with customer which particular operating system they were using and which geolocation, like from which country and what is the response time of agent? Like when customer is initiated uh, the chat, right? Exactly after how, how many minutes or how many hours, mostly it will be in minutes. After how many minutes uh, he got the response from the uh, CST. Okay, so response time of visitor 
and transaction end date. So exactly what time the chat was closed. What is their customer rating, customer comment, transfer, whether chat was transferred or not. So this transferring uh, of chat happens when let's say whoever connects first, right? CS team, if they are not able to resolve, they will uh, transfer the chat to their supervisor or their manager, right? So that's what it is mentioned here. It is Boolean value, true or false. Customer wait time. So total how many minutes or how many hours they have waited to get connected. So that's that's what this uh, data set talks about it. So we'll be analyzing uh, what and all features are required, what and all features not required and which feature we need to do some cleaning. Okay, so let's go ahead and analyze some other detail. So all these uh, four or five videos, whatever we have recorded so far, you would have noticed one thing in almost all EDA part, these are very common steps. And this is what I talked in first video. If you remember 90, 95%, uh, this step will be common. Okay, there will be some changes because let's say your data is purely a text data. Okay, so I've handled about the tutor data also, right? So you would have seen a couple of states are not valid because they don't have numerical values. They are purely a text data. But all the numerical value related data set, these are very common steps to be followed for EDA. Okay, get feature name of data set, df dot keys. So as I mentioned, you can get using keys as well as columns. Okay, so these are the feature name. So total how many keys are there? This is the second parameter which will tell in the shape. Okay, so total uh, 31,952 observation along with 18 features. Get full description of summary data set. Let's go ahead and do that. df dot describe. So it looks like only one numerical value is there. That's why you see that. Okay, that is nothing but related to order value. Rest of things are either you know date or maybe object type or timing with column. So that will also be uh, ultimately uh, object data type. So order value is the only numerical column. That's why you see their min max and standard division, interquartile range, all the details. Okay, let's go ahead and take the summary using info. So this is going to talk about all the features uh, of the given data set and total how many non-null values, what is their data type and total how much memory is occupied by that particular data set. So here we see total bool, two features are there, bool type, integer 64 one and total object type 15. Okay, and since integer 64 only one, that's why you see in the description or describe function, it is taking only one value or one feature. Okay, and there's another way to get all data types, right? For DF, you can just type data types. So it is going to return exactly only data types of each feature. So this is also very helpful at times in case you don't want to see all other details. Okay, understand the data types of data set and downgrade its type to save memory. So here we see only in tier 64. So today we can just leave it. Let's go ahead with in tier 64 only. Okay, but um, by, by looking at description, you will see 3192, right? So mostly integer 16, which should be good enough to handle this order value, okay? So <clears throat> I would suggest you take this as a task and whenever you are trying this data set, go ahead and uh, type cast integer 64 to integer 16. You'll see, uh, you'll save some memory. Okay, so here, I'll just mention for you guys. So you can take df dot what is that order or order value, right? So let's copy paste and I'll just mention you guys can just do that. Order value can be type cast it to in 16. Okay. See if any missing values are present in data sets. Let's go ahead and find out the missing value. So what is the best way? Go to df is null and just take some of this. So if you see here chat close by, we have total 211 missing values and geo, I mean, a lot of missing values are there. So what we are going to do basically uh, geo part Maybe we can ignore it because a lot of missing values are there. It doesn't make any sense to 
uh, you know, uh, take the mode or what, like it may affect your data analysis further. Okay. It's not like 10 or 15 values are missing, total 14,000 missing values are there. So I think better you drop the geo column. Okay. Or let it be there, but don't include it for your analysis purpose. Chat closed by 211. So I think this is still okay because we will see like who is closing the chat and we'll take the mode very frequently and let's fill that value. Okay. And other values are fine. They have zero missing values. Okay. And let's find out, get unique values for each feature. This will help you to get to know if any unwanted characters are present. Okay. So I don't think so it is present because anyway, let's go ahead and find out. So df use for loop and iterate over all the columns. df dot keys print df j dot unique. So there are so many values. So what I will do, I'll just limit this to first five values. That should be good enough. Let's go ahead and see. DFK. Or K in DM keys. Okay. So you'll see, uh, let me just print out the feature name as well. So transaction start date, this is the starting time, agent, all fine. Chat duration, teams, all looks okay. Order value, they have different order values. That is also fine. I don't see any peculiar character in any of the unique values. Yes, we do have. So if you see customer rating, there are a couple of values. Maybe this could be treated as a empty value also instead of having some value, they have left it blank. So I would rather consider this as an empty value. Okay, so we'll go ahead and fix that also. Customer comment, yeah, in some of the comment, it is not put any character. So they have also left it blank. Yeah, all looks fine, except a couple of like customer rating, customer comment, as well as, yeah, only those two columns or those two features. Okay, then we'll go ahead and fill that customer rating and customer comment. Now visualize missing values of data set. So how to visualize? We have sns.heatmap, df.seasonal, that's all. Okay, so let's do some beautification. Figure, fix size 16 by four, vlk.show. Okay, so chat closed by, we do have some missing value. We already saw close to 214 values and geo close to 15,000. So see almost every alternate or every alternate observation, there is some missing value, right? So better you drop it. It doesn't make any sense to use it. Okay, so what we can do now, I can just show the unique value or value kind of geo. Okay, so df dot geo value counts. Yeah, so total 62 observations, 62 zeros are used and their count are this. Okay. That is also fine in case you would like to visualize it. So I'll go ahead and quickly visualize using plot kind equal to bar. You see here, almost one single column, which is mostly ever, I think they are talking about Australia. Correct. So it really doesn't make any sense to take into account where a lot of missing values are there and their count is also very less. So that's fine. We can ignore it. But however, I'll go ahead and do some beautification and show some more meaningful values. Okay. So if you see here, right, whenever you have this kind of graph, so you take a look like where exactly it starts saturating. So if you see here, let's say after 50 or 100 values, it starts saturating, right? We don't have, we hardly have those count or maybe it is not at all there or it is like limited to within 10, right? So in this case, what we can do, we can always go ahead with n largest. There is one command called n largest. Let's say 50, let's see if this works. Okay, so top 50, I'll just take and just go ahead and print. You see here, 
mostly four, three, two, and all. After that, all will be like one, one uh, count. That's all. Okay, so n largest command will also be very helpful when you just want to print. It is going to be in ascending order. Uh, sorry, descending order. So just take top fifty or top maybe uh, thirty. I'll take. Okay, and make sense to plot them. P L O T kind equal to bar, and here I'll give figure size equal to sixteen by four. Okay. Now this makes sense. Maybe you can have top twenty. So Australia uh, is the one which is more dominating, and others are just having close to one, two, up to ten. That's all. Okay, so I think it makes sense to. We have decided to drop that geo column. Okay, we'll not drop, but we'll not include in the further analysis. Okay, so let's go ahead and do something else. So decide a feature needs to be dropped. So what feature we are going to drop it? So let's go ahead and plot two. So we are going to drop transaction start date. I am not interested exactly when the uh, chat was initiated. Okay, so we are going to drop it. Df dot drop. Give the list of all the features which doesn't need to be included in the data analysis. So what we will do? We'll just take it, copy and paste transaction start date. Then we have. Agent is fine. Chat duration is fine, and session name I am not interested. So let's go ahead and drop it. Okay, what else we have? Order value, chat close by. This is fine. Browser is also fine. Operating system is fine. Geo, let it be there. Response time, transaction end date is also not required. We can go ahead and just drop it. Customer comment, it's okay. Customer wait time, yeah. All these things are fine, and by default is row wise, so we have to make column wise. So just give x is equal to one. So once you drop, sorry, drop. Okay, so everything looks okay. Now we can go ahead and just make in place true. So remember, guys, in place true, you should use only when you are very sure you are going to override the original data. Okay. Otherwise, you may have to start from the scratch because you will lose the data, right? Whatever you don't want to drop, but it got dropped by mistake. Okay, now go ahead and df dot head five. It's okay. Now let's go ahead and fill missing values. So for geo, definitely we are not going to do that. So what we will do? There was missing value on what? Let me just check one second. Chat closed by, right? <clears throat> so we have df dot chat closed by right. So we have unique let's find out. So we do have a couple of values here: customer, representative, system, and man. So this man is nothing but some empty value. Okay, and that's what we are going to fill it. Okay, so let's find out which one is occurring more. So there are multiple ways to do that. One way is to find out value counts. So we have customer. So mostly customer is going to close the or customer is closing the chat uh, whenever uh, transaction is done. Okay, so I think this is most frequently values, frequent most frequently occurred values. So we are going to uh, replace all the NAN or empty value along with customer. Okay, so how to get that customer while filling? So what we can do? Df dot fill in a just a minute. Let me just take chat closed by dot fill in a, and here we have to take the mode. Okay, so let me just go ahead and explain what I'm going to do. That there is one function called mode. Okay, this mode is nothing but it is going to return what is coming very frequently in that particular categorical column. So it is going to return the series of values. So this is the one which is highly occurred. So we can filter by using the zeroth value. Okay, customer. Now fill NA. Just copy and paste it here. Okay, everything is filled, and while filling, we have something called in place. Equal to true. Now it is going to modify the original column. Chat close by. 
Okay, now we are good. And if you are going to check or double check whether missing value is still there or not, just check this one. Is null dot sum. Okay, so now we have zero missing values. So we are good to go and uh, do further analysis. Again, you can just visualize it. SNS dot heat map df dot is null. Okay, it is going to show only geo, which we have already decided uh, to not to include in the data analysis. But if you see chat closed by, it's all black, means there's no missing values. Okay, so we are good to go and proceed further. So find out correlation and perform visualization. So it doesn't make any sense to do correlation because we don't have any more numerical values other than order set, correct? Find out highly correlated values, not required. So let's drop it. Find out feature which needs type casting. So I think order value is the one which we have already talked on the top. And we type casted. You guys remember one thing, whenever you do EDA, right? Always write one or two line of documentation uh, on what you are doing. What is your goal to achieve that after doing that? Okay. After doing any processing, what is your outcome and why you wanted that outcome? Please mention that this will be very helpful because later after uh, done, after you're done with data cleaning, right? You are going to give the clean data to statistician or machine learning engineer, right? So they should be able to understand what you have done. Otherwise just doing processing, getting the output doesn't make any sense. I'm just showing you guys because if, if I keep writing, then it is going to be, you know, two, three hours of session. I'm just telling you so that you can remember and start writing it. Okay, visualize missing value again to make sure this we have already done it. So let's do this. Okay, so we are done. Now let's go ahead and do actual processing. What we, why we have taken this data set. Okay, so data transformation, I'll mention that. For few columns, df dot head five. So let me tell you what transformation we are going to do. Okay, so if you take a look at chat duration, right, what it is doing, it is showing hours, minutes, and seconds, right? But if you really want to plot like who has taken more number of time, or more number of minutes or who has logged actual number of hours or actual number of minutes, right? So this is not going to give any data. You have to manually interpret it, right? So better we filter all the data like hours, minutes and seconds and convert them into either actual or actual minute. So I think R will be too big value, right? And mostly all the chats have been closed in the minutes, right? So let's convert everything into minute. So we'll find out like which particular agent has talked more to the customer and how many number of minutes it has logged. Okay. Then similar processing can be done under response time of agent, like after how many minutes they have responded to the customer. This is also very important. So we'll do that. So res response time of visitor that also we can do. So like uh, which visitor is taking more, uh, what to say, more time or more number of minutes to respond to the customer support team. And customer wait time, how, how long they have waited to get the response from the customer support team, okay? So I think processing might be very similar. So we'll write one function and transform all those three columns. Okay, so let's find out chat duration. DF dot chat duration. So you'll see everything in minute. Do we have any null value? Is null dot sum. We have already seen it. It is not there. Okay, so we are good. Now what we will do, we will just uh, uh, do the transformation. Okay, so how to do transformation? So if you see any value, right? Let me just take one value. So if you see here, it is uh, say, uh, all the hours, minutes, and uh, seconds are uh, separated by column. Okay, so first you split the string uh, along with column, or the separator will be your column, and you'll get hours, minutes, and seconds. 
So hour will be hour because we don't want to convert it. Or sorry, we can convert into minute by multiplying by sixty, right? Eighteen is already in minutes, so we don't have to do any transformation for that. Twenty-two is the second, so second we can convert into minute by dividing by sixty. Okay, so we we are going to do that by using the lambda function. Let's try the lambda function. Lambda. Let's say we have x. That is your this particular time. Okay. Now go ahead and split it. Split along with colon. So after splitting, what we are getting? We will get the list of uh, values, right? So let me just go ahead and show you how it works. Lam pass this value. See here, we got zero hours, eighteen minutes, twenty-two seconds, right? Okay. After that, once we get this value, what we can do? We can take zeroth value, that is a minute, plus one value, that is sorry, first one is your zero is nothing but hours. One is your minutes and plus minus one, or you can give two also. That is your seconds. Okay, so we are getting everything and we are adding because everything is string, so it will be concatenated. But that is not what we want. Get this value. Type pass to integer. This is very important step. Get this value and type pass to integer. Similarly, do for the last one also. Okay, now you got forty, but that is also not correct because hours we have to convert to minutes. So we can multiply by sixty, and minute is already minute, so we don't have to do any conversion here. Seconds we can divide by sixty, so that we can uh, convert second into minute. Now let's go ahead. So total eighteen point three six six minute has been taken by that particular agent. Okay, so total chat duration was eighteen minutes. Okay. And later, what we can do is maybe we can use round if you want. And let me see if this works. No, it is not going to work. We can apply round later. Anything is fine. Okay, so our function is ready, and it is going to transform the whole column uh, with minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply that. Now let's transform. Chat duration column. And what else we have? Chat duration. Then we have response time agent. This also needs to be transformed. So I'll just copy paste. What else we have? Then we have customer wait time. Okay, all those things we are going to transform. Okay, so how to transform? We have BF dot chat duration equal to dot map. And just apply M function. Okay. Now, if you want to see that first few values, you can just go ahead and type. Let's say first five values I want to see. Okay. So everything is uh, done here. Now let's apply the same thing here also. So we want response time to be transformed, right? Agent. All done. Okay, we have some missing value. Looks like. Before that, let me find out if any missing values or unique values are there. Unique. Okay, we do have some value which is not able to convert. I think in the beginning we saw it right. Unique value was this empty. So empty data we will just go ahead and fill with zero zero zero. Okay. So what we will do first before transforming. First five values. 
yeah this is for your difference so we have to convert df dot replace Uh, replace we will put this column space fill with zero column zero column zero okay all good and do we have in place yes let's modify it we are good now let's apply this column yeah now it is done Okay, and now we go ahead and find out their transform values. Let's say first five values. We are good. One minute, 53 seconds or something like that. Okay. Now what is the next one? Customer wait time. We are going to do same thing. So DF customer wait time dot map length. Okay, we are good. Let's print out something. Okay, so all values are transformed. So now it will be easy for us, you know, to visualize, let's say, uh, line graph or scatter chart and all those things. Otherwise, it would have been very tough. So th this is the reason I have taken this particular data set because a lot of transformation is required and which will be really very helpful when we have this kind of particular data. Okay. So now we are good and let's print out head five. Now we'll be doing a lot of visualization, okay? So we have chat duration here, then we have response time, response time for visitor. <clears throat> I think this we forgot to modify, right? Yeah, so response time for visitor also, let's do that. Response time for visitor. Okay, so DF visitor equal to dot map lamp. Looks like here also we have some missing values. So let's go ahead and find out unique. I'm sure it will be having some empty value. Yes, we do have. So all we have to do is just replace the whole values. That's all. Stop printing. Okay. Go ahead. Response time of visitor. Replace. All done. Now apply it. DF dot. Yeah, we are good now. Let's take a look. Okay, response time is time of visitor is also converted to minutes. Visitor agent and customer. Yeah, we, we have transferred all the values. Okay, now let's go ahead and find out different different values. So count of categorical data. Which one is categorical? Let's find out chat closed by. Okay, so SNS dot count plot df at close by. Let's see. <clears throat> so which one is closing the chat first? Mostly customer, then representative chat close by, and representative then system. So sometimes let's say customer is not responding and uh, CS team is also not responding, then automatically it will be closed by system. Okay, so we do have some more cases here. So we. I think the person who is handling this team, they should take a close look of this data and rectify it because either it should be closed by customer and uh, if everything is solved, then it should be closed by CS team, not by system. Okay, similarly here, customer, which is good. Okay, so that's about this. Then what else we have? We do have interactive chat. Let's see how many interactive chats are there. Okay. So, interactive chat. So we have more number of interactive chat, which is good. Okay, what else we have? 
then we have browser type also let's find out the browser type here okay so here sms dot sound plot here browser could be a lot of browser types so it may take some time yeah we do have some browser so what do let's do some beautification here if you see here right i mean if i take 50 percent of this value or maybe first 100 value that should be good enough to visualize it okay to get fair idea about it so what we can do let's talk about this first 100 value okay let's do some more beautification so this is one way of plotting it but it doesn't really look good so if you are plotting descending order i think it will make sense so let's go ahead and modify this part so what i'll do now df dot browser and here i'll take there's one option called order df browser dot value pound okay and this is a function and this function if you take index it is going to print all the values okay in the ascending order so you guys should practice this because this is very important one so sometimes this kind of count plot it makes sense to plot in descending order okay and now if you want to filter or maybe you want to plot first 50 values just give first 50. okay looks better now we'll do some beautification here plt dot figure fix size 16 by 4 plt dot flow okay so xx is like all our string type right so they are getting overlap right so let's go ahead and change the orientation of that axis x sticks rotation equal to maybe 90 or 75 whichever you want you can just put it okay much better but if you see here i think even if you plot let's put 90 only much better very much clear right and if you see here i think first 50 or 70 value only it looks good otherwise rest will be very less values or maybe between 0 to 10 that's why you see everything is suppressed right <clears throat> So we can modify a little more by taking first 30 value. Good enough. Okay, so if you see here, right, a lot of uh, browser related stuffs are there, but there are some browser which has been used very heavily, but their category is not existing. And that's why they are put under other. That's what you can infer. And after that, Chrome is the highly, highly used uh, browser in the customer service. Okay. After that, mobile Safari, Someone is chatting with mobile also in the Safari browser. Okay, so that's all we can infer from here. DF dot head, let's move to different categories. So histogram of discrete data. Okay, so histogram, let's take about the chat duration because now we everything we have in the minute. So let's see exact median of the chat duration. SNS dot hist DF chat duration. Okay, we are good, but data is hardly skewed. Hmm. Okay, let me add some more detail here. PLP dot so. This is a histogram plot, guys, and if you see the median is somewhere. Uh, you know here this, this particular portion so if you want to have better visualization what you can do you can take box plot okay a so lot of outliers are there but their median is very much close to 10 or 30 that's what you also see here so 0 to 50 i think it's close to 10 10 or 15 values 10 or 15 minutes is the median value okay we do have a lot of outliers you see some some of the uh, chat they have been lasted for close to 250 minutes also 200 minutes it could be like customer is also left the chat and uh, cs team is also left the chat and it might have closed by system 
okay because no one is there to close it and that's why duration is shown as more okay so that's what you can infer from this particular data okay let's find out something else so this is not relevant i'll just close it what else we can infer dot head customer interactive chat we have already seen let's find out the browser type or operating system type so for operating system also i am going to use the same thing because you may have lot of variants right so operating system browser system let's find out okay so looks like mac os is used heavily for customer service uh, customer service team then operating system let's plot little more here 50 yeah a lot of varieties in os so if you see here maybe same name is repeating but there are did, did, uh, you know little variants so if you see here mac os then 11.4.1 windows and ios windows 10 so if you really want right you can find out those name which is starting with win you can combine okay otherwise unnecessary it is adding extra uh, category okay so this mac os if you see here and here also we have mac os right so unnecessary these versions are adding in other category so better you club them so definitely count will go and you have very limited number of os so mac ubuntu chrome or chromium or uh, fedora android windows okay so after clubbing i think it will end up by 10 or 15 type of os that that should be okay <clears throat> okay what else we can have so let's find out some category transfer chat some bivariate data will plot okay so let's go ahead and plot the scatter plot here so sns dot scatter plot df response time of visitor let's find out so here it will be df dot index okay dlt dot figure pick size 15 by let's say 6 dlt dot so okay so this scatter plot clearly tells like most of the chat has been you know uh, between 2 to 3 minutes okay between 0 to 3 uh, 3 minutes max you can say and there are a lot of outliers are represented that's what you see right extra dots those are nothing but your outliers only some of them have been uh uh lasted the chat is lasted you know more than 6 minutes even went up to 8 minutes also we see okay and let's see what are those kind of chat let's add another bivariate data here q equal to df dot transfer chat whether they were transferred or not let's add some color coding okay so you can see with uh, whatever chat has been transferred they are represented as uh, orange color and which is not transferred that is blue color okay so if you see there are chat even after 5 minute or 6 minute of chat they were not able to resolve the issue of customer so they have been transferred okay so that's what you can interpret from the this kind of uh, chart for the customer data let's see what else we have Let's go ahead and do the KDE plot. So here we'll take KDE plot, and we'll take response time. Okay. We can add hue level also. Hue we will take as you can take geo also.
okay what else we have chat closed by let's see what and all data we have chat closed by so this one let's see who has closed the chat okay so those who are customer closed by customer is also very high median representative representative is orange color they are also very high values are there right and closed by system it is in you know middle side okay let's find out chat duration versus chat closed by okay chat duration closed by oh very much similar values are there not much deviation okay what else we have was it interactive chat or not let's find out okay so i think blue was not interactive but uh, orange color shows like it was interactive chat and their median is close to yeah again 10 or 20 values so median is uh, coming under 10 minutes okay so that's what you see here what else you can plot so i would suggest you guys also to try with response time of agent response time of visitor and you can do customer rating as well so let's find out those who close the chat how much rating they got okay so let's infer some inside of this particular rating so we'll try to find out those who talked more how much rating they got okay so chat duration and let's find out this customer rating chat duration and let's plot i think this should be fine okay so you see here uh, pink color shows more uh, value okay so their median is too high not too high basically the more number of people who who chatted this level right and they are giving rating close to 10 this is the only correct okay what else we have transfer chat customer with time operating system let's find out operating system also and we'll do the count plot okay so here we have count plot it is going to take more time so i'll just to operating system mars more rating should be this and here operating system so we have lot of values right? it is going to take some time but yeah you can find out you can plot maybe first 50 or 60 values so it will give more detail correct so you can take the order here if you want order equal to df dot operating system dot value counts dot index and let's take first thirty value. Okay, because for each category we are going to plot right, so it will be in this order. <clears throat> and pink like let's say i think three rating is little more that's what you see right this particular color 
Okay, for each US wise, you can count the rating also. Okay, let me add a little more thing here. Next X. Notation equal to 90. Okay, guys. So I think we are, we are almost done. So I would say go ahead with different categories and you know uh, plot uh, univariate, bivariate data and see, try to infer more detail like what is happening with the chat customer representative. Okay, with chat data, what and all uh, other insights you can get from the uh, graphs. Okay, so I think this is good enough. And main focus, uh, why I have taken this data because this kind of timing data, right? Whenever they give hour, minute and hand uh, in the second, right? So always convert to either into hour or minute. That makes sense because you can do a lot of visualization, right? Histogram, KD plot, line line chart also, and a scatter chart also. With this kind of data, which is separated by column, and nothing nothing is going to be visualized. Okay, so that's all. I think you like this data set. So for every video or every data set, EDA whatever I have uploaded, right? Under description, you will find the Jovian notebook, uh, Google Drive link as well as the GitHub link where my notebook is there as well as data set. So go ahead and take it from there. Okay, guys, that's all for today. So see you in the next video with different data set. Thank you. Bye-bye.